Next thing we're gonna do is the graphics card. So let me find it in this mountain of shit. Excuse me. Cause I've got stuff everywhere guys right now. This is not the most organized bill, but it's pretty fun I will admit, you know. I started out not so sure, but I ended up feeling a little more confident. Feel a little more confident as we go along. Now this graphics card was expensive. <laughs> this was like $500 or $600, I don't remember what it cost, but it was expensive. This ASUS uh, DirectCU2 um, OC card. We're going to open it up. I'm going to show it to you. We're going to put it in. And I went with this one because people said it was like a great card. And since it was an option that I could go with for my Hackintosh, I wanted a high-end piece for graphics cards. This is what I went with. So we got a black box in here. It says Asus. And when we open it up, <laughs> the, the suspense. Yeah. Trying to hold this. You got your little packet with your drivers and everything that you got here. That you need rather. And let's look at that for a second before we actually get into the car. Sorry for bumping the tripod. Oh, you've got the, your driver disc and you've got just basically your startup guide that shows you how everything works on this particular car, which is great. Let's look at the back of the box. We've actually got two DVI connections, we've got an HDI, uh, HDMI, and we've got a display port. So, those are the connections that are on this particular car. And that says inputs and outputs. So, there you go. Very pretty. Got the fan, say Aces. Got the name in it. It's got some weight to it. Both fans spin freely. It's got that big radiator behind it. So, it looks really meaty. Um, looks good here as well. It's got a nice smell to it. Um, it says remove uh, protective film before use. So I will do so. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Got your ports that I just told you about. Be sitting something like that. So I'm going to pop this guy in and I will show it to you guys momentarily. So stand by. Alright, guys, so check it out. Let me uh, tighten in. As you can see right here, I've got the actual the uh, ASUS card in the 680 and it fit pretty nicely so I've installed so let's do a quick breakdown of what's installed at this point um, right now we have the graphics card installed we have let's pull out so I can show you we have the power supply we have the graphics card obviously we have the motherboard that everything's connected to we have the processor we have the basically the processor cooler the hydro um, series and this thing is called the what exactly this is the CPU cooler so CPU is installed the cooler this thing is cooling it it's got the radiator here got a fan installed we got a fan on top installed um, what else oh we got both hard drives installed and we've got two optical drives installed got a couple more parts put together we've got this uh, TP link and this is the wireless uh, dual band PCI Express adapter. We'll put that in and then we've got to install this thing and hopefully it'll work. Um, that's pretty much it. And then we're ready to button this thing up and, and see what she can do. Um, let me finish putting it together and then I've got some homework to do. It's like probably about 3 in the morning at this point. I'm going to unbox this card for you so you can get a chance to see it, but I'm tired. Um, I've been working on it for about mm, a good three hours since it's my first time. I just want to make sure that everything is right. The next one I build, I'll probably go a lot faster. Um, I've also been working on it for the most part by myself, so that's not a, necessarily a bad thing, but a little help with probably be a good thing uh, next time around so you know lessons learned uh, let's look at this TP link um, wireless adapter and see what we get in the box here you get this little baby disc 
you get a quick install guide you get it in another language uh, you do get three antennas that go in the back which is cool these are bendable much like the uh, Asus router that I unboxed you get a little tray that the card locks into let's look at the actual card it's got their logo and everything on it which is cool um, it basically I don't know if you need this it's like an extra adapter because it's got its own little deal this guy's gonna drop into a PCI slot and then you're gonna put those antennas on that's pretty much it so I'm gonna install this I pop that USB dongle in and then we'll be ready I'll be ready to show you some stuff anyway so stand by